Hola mga clickers! Welcome back! If you are new to my channel, I am Sir Kevin. I am an ICT coordinator and instructor in junior high school. I'm also an advocate of techie program. And uh, my goal is to uh, share my ideas uh, to my fellow teachers about educational technology. For this video, I'm going to show you how you can create uh, a quiz and at the same time host a quiz live show. Let's start by logging in to your quizzes. If it is your first time to use it, check the caption above to see the procedure to sign up. On your account page, click the button on the top or on the left side panel which tells create a new quiz. Give a name uh, for your quiz and choose relevant subjects. Take note that you can choose more than one subject. Click next to proceed. Teleport button provides you pre-made quizzes you can include in your quiz. Or you can simply uh, click new question button to add new question. It has five types of questions to choose from. Pick the best type for your quiz. For this demonstration, let's choose multiple choice. Type your questions here. And the default number of an answer option is 4. If you wish to remove an option, click the delete icon. If you wish to add more options, Click Add Answer Options. Don't forget to choose the correct answer and set the timer. There is also a preview of your questions on the right side, which shows how your quiz look like on a device screen. Once done, click Save. Quiz is boring if you only have one question. So let's add another one. This time, aside from the plain text, Let's add an image. Just click this image icon and you can upload image from your local file or link from the internet. Write your answer options and check the correct answer. Once done, click save. Let's add another one. And this time, my answer options are images. Add image for each answer option. Note that you cannot have both image and text as your answer option. Now, let's add checkbox. And this type of question allows players to choose more than one answer. Same from what we did in the multiple choice, you can also add images and audio. Fill in the blank is a type of question which has a statement with a missing word or phrase. Players must provide the specific word on the type box. If the answer has other terms with the same meaning, there is an option to add alternative answers. Note that no need to add alternative for a case sensitive. Poll is a type of questions which like a survey questions. It is not graded assessment though, but still a great option to have fan of surveys. Last is the open-ended. It is a type of question where you have an open-ended questions and players try to explain or reason out their answer. Make sure you include your scoring rubric for better instruction. Once you complete your questions, you need to give more details about your quiz like adding an image, language, grade level range, and privacy options. Click done to finish. Congratulations! You made your first quiz. You can see your quizzes in my quizzes tab. Click solo practice to play the game. You can also share your quiz and play it on multiplayer game. Here you have to choose your game mode. You have three options. In team mode, player scores are grouped by team. In classic mode, Players compete individually and rank the best. In test mode, it is for serious assessment 
which requires focus and concentration. For this demonstration, let's choose class mode. Below are game settings you can configure. Click continue to start. Players go to joinmyquiz.com. Enter the six digit code. Wait all players to join. It has a remove option for player who has an, an inappropriate name. When all players are in, click start to begin. On your screen, you will see the details of the game like accuracy level, number of players, list of players according to their rank. On the player screen, series of questions are shown. Note that every player has its own pace in answering the quiz. Some players are fast and finish the quiz in no time, while other players just take their time and making sure questions are read carefully and provide their best answer. As the players got correct answers for each question, accuracy level increases. On the same manner, every incorrect answer decreases accuracy level. When the game ended, it shows the top three players. It is followed by quiz details, which you can download or send through email. What do you think about quizzes? Write your comment down below. If this video helps you a lot, don't be shy and give a thumbs up. And share this video to your fellow teachers, administrators, students, friends, and whoever persons you think uh, who needs to see it. And also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you will be updated on my latest video. That would be all for now. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next video.